What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how I pump down a system. This guy right here, Charlie One, Delhi Island case. So here at the rack, it's labeled as an olive bar, but it's not. You can see the support valves, it's what's controlling the temperature. You got the liquid going out, suction coming back in. So here I labeled it for you. Going out to the cases, suction coming back from the cases. All the way, 300 feet plus. Every system you can see has liquid going out, suction coming back in. Every single one, same thing. So the case right now, it's calling for refrigeration. As you can see, it's energized. At the bottom of the sport valve, you see the stand for automatic or open. If you turn clockwise, in the auto position, the pressure can be adjusted to the desired SST and the cylinder can turn off the valve. If it's counterclockwise, wide open, you can't adjust the pressure or the solenoid won't do anything. It's like it's a straight pipe. So the racket's running at 57 pounds right now. So my pressure under the sport valve, it's reading the suction header. 54, 55 pounds. On top of the valve, reading from the cases, 66 pounds. And the liquid pressure going out to the cases, 105. So what I'm gonna do right now is open up the sport valve straight open so I can't hold any pressure back during the pump down. You can see it right now, dropped. Looks like as you're literally doing straight pipe. No valve. Now I'm gonna be closing the liquid going out to the cases. Start the pump down process. So here at the case, still feeding from you can see from the distributor. Suction's at 55 pounds. It would have been reading 66 if uh, we didn't open it up. 20 minutes later. So still 55. Liquid is now down to 60 pounds. That's as far as I'm gonna get because the rack can only go down to 57 right now. So I need to make the pressure as low as possible. So the way I'm gonna do that is bypass every compressor on and just bring that suction as low as I can. Suction pressure dropping to 40 and my liquid pressure is now at 55 still. I need to make this go faster. We're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> Speed. And the way I do that is I shut off other systems to make a C1 go faster. So I only did about two to three systems. So now I'm around under 40 pounds, 38. And still 55. Come on, compressors. Suck! Suck! So 25 pounds now. 10 pounds. Come on. Three. Oh, crap. Stop this thing! We can't stop. It's too dangerous. We've got to slow down first. Bullshit! So now i got to turn everything back off. Put it back in auto. So now the suction ball valve is closed. So my liquid and my suction are closed and I'm down to about one pound of pressure you can see. That's as low as I'm gonna get it. Case as well, same pressure, verify, one pound. Yeah, that's pretty close. So now you can uh, remove the strainer, replace the power head, replace the valve if you have to. It's completely pumped down. Usually if I replace the TXV, I like to remove these strainers right here. It has a little seal, and if you get it too hot and burn it up, it's just going to damage it, and it's going to start leaking from the strainer. There you go. So when you turn everything back on, you have to make sure everything you touch goes back to normal. The ball valves and the sport valve, you got to put it back to auto. If you don't put it back to auto, it's going to ice up the entire system. No defrost, no nothing. 
double check, triple check. Everything's back to normal. Everything's open. And yep, back online. That's how I pump down the system. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and comments. Any questions?